good morning students now this is the last class on vision today i'll discuss the reflexes of eye now in the reflexes of eye two reflexes are very important you have to know it is light reflex accommodation reflex it is very important practical wise okay say when you have to show light reflex you have to show accommodation reflex then uh, in third fourth sixth nerve testing then you have to mention the the examiner will ask you about the pathway light reflex pathway accommodation reflex pathway now first light reflex when light is shown in one eye both the pupil constricts now constriction at the pupil to which the light is shown is known as direct light reflex i am putting the torch the light here and i am looking for the constriction of people here that is direct light reflex and constriction of the other eye i am putting the light here and there is constriction of the opposite eye that is known as consensual or indirect light reflex okay so light reflex has got two part one is direct light reflex another is indirect or consensual light reflex now you have to know the pathway of this light reflex okay you have to know this now uh, in this light reflex pathway first it starts from the retina you all know this the pathway for vision you already has been taught now so from retina the impulse goes then second is so this is from retina it is coming second is optic nerve then third is optic chiasma okay now in optic chiasma two things happen one is the nasal fiber they decays it okay and the temporal fiber they remains uncrossed you know this part okay now from optic chiasma fourth is this the optic tract okay now from the optic tract so in optic tract there is the nasal fiber of opposite side and temporal fiber from the same side okay now from this uh, optic tract it will go to the mid brain superior colliculus pretectal area okay from the pretectal area it will so this is the fifth one then from the pretectal area it will go to edinger westfall nuclei edinger westfall nucleus okay edinger westfall nucleus now here you can see there is bilateral supply from this tectum from here one is going here another is going here okay now from this edinger westfall nuclei the preganglionic parasympathetic fiber arise and ends in ciliary ganglia okay so ends in ciliary ganglia hmm? then from ciliary ganglia the postganglionic parasympathetic nerve nerve fiber arise and it ends in the constrictor muscle and there is constriction okay so this is the pathway for light reflex so now what i told you from retina optic nerve from there to optic chiasma from there to optic tract from optic tract it will reach superior colliculus and pretectal area okay from there through colliculo nuclear fiber this is a interneuron internuncial fiber the impulse will go to the edinger westfall nucleus from edinger westfall nucleus the preganglionic parasympathetic fiber will rise and end in ciliary ganglia okay and then from ciliary ganglia post ganglionic fiber will supply sphincter pupillae that will lead to constriction of pupil okay so this is the light reflex pathway this is about you have to know this pathway this is very important for your practical purpose okay next is accommodation reflex it is also known as near reflex when the subject looks at near object from distance you have done this accommodation reflex 
you will ask the subject to look at a distance then suddenly the subject will have to focus his gaze on a near object this is accommodation now in accommodation three things occur you all know constriction of people meiosis convergence of eye and bulging of anterior surface of lens now these two can be seen by with naked eye the constriction of people and the convergence of eye but but bulging of anterior surface of lens we cannot see with naked eye okay now what is the pathway for this accommodation reflex again you have to know this here again from retina optic nerve optic chiasma optic tract from there impulse goes to lateral geniculate body from lateral geniculate body through optic radiation impulse reaches area 17 of occipital lobe which is primary visual cortex from area 17 it goes to area 8 frontal eye field this is in occipital lobe visual cortex primary visual cortex and so from the frontal eye field the impulse will descend through corticospinal tract now this cortico from corticospinal tract it will come to edinger westphal nucle okay from edinger westphal nucle three things will occur one is one supply will go to the ciliary ganglia from ciliary ganglia it will go to the sphincter pupilli and there will be constriction of the pupil meiosis another is that from ciliary ganglia ciliary muscles will be supplied and this ciliary muscle contraction will lead to bulging of lens and lastly the medial rectus when it contracts that will lead to convergence so these three 1 2 and 3 these three they happen in accommodation reflex okay and this is the total pathway for accommodation reflex now how this bulging of lens occurs basically the ciliary muscles when uh, there is no accommodation then what happens the ciliary muscle remains relaxed when ciliary muscle remain relaxed the suspensory ligaments become taut and when suspensory ligaments become taut the lens is also stretched now what happens when during accommodation the ciliary muscle contracts then the ciliary muscle ciliary body comes towards the lens when it comes towards the lens the suspensory ligament will become relaxed and when suspensory ligament becomes relaxed the anterior surface of lens will bulge out this is how the bulging of anterior surface of lens occurs during uh, accommodation okay the posterior surface cannot bulge only anterior surface can bulge and lastly another thing is argil robertson people this is another applied part ask in viva in viva part here what happens this happens in neurosyphilis okay it happens in neurosyphilis the lesion is in pretectal area so here light reflex is abolished but visual pathway to cortex and accommodation reflex pathway remains unaffected so what will happen in this subject accommodation reflex is present how to remember argil robertson people accommodation reflex present okay argil robertson people accommodation reflex present which is absent light reflex is absent okay so this is about today's class thank you